One of you will be strong. Not again. Yeah, you peaches. I know you are in pain. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh, huh? You're not the only one to be tested. Did you know that I had a wife? So beautiful, isn't she? We were pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. I'm becoming a father, mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were going to work out. She always had faith. And one day she was going to go visit a friend. Hmm. There was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed me to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was going to live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me alone in the room with her. I just stared at my daughter, so helpless and so innocent. And all she had in the world was me, when nobody from nowhere was thought me. And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand on my little girl's head. together, prayed for wisdom, prayed for strength, and I knew, I heard God's plan for me, so I took my fingers and I put them on that little plastic tube that was taped to her angelic face and I pinched it shut. began to kick in and kick in. And then nothing. Stillness. Release. The Lord giveth and the Lord take. Pain. Sacrifice. These are all part of his test. And we have to prove that we can serve God matter what he asks. You've done well.
all gone. All done. doing the best he can to hold us all together but there's not many of us white tails left we gotta put a stop to this hope you drive better than you shoot that was a joke working on my business skills Take a breather. Yes. Yes, you got that.
I'll be there in two shakes. By that I mean I ain't done peeing yet, and I'll be there after. Crazy's good, but use it on Peggy. Crank the tubes. Not that Peggy shit, though. game if they want to play with us. Hey Jess, you catch me kicking some ass out there? I look good just saying. Crazy to say, but if none of this shit happened, I wouldn't have found my purpose. Why is it done? Won't we think of any cock walking roadblocks everywhere? Maverick checking in. Hey, you need a word. Wasn't sure you'd come back, but I guess you're full of surprises. This squealer here ran security up at the chalet. Lucky for us, he wasn't that good at his job and wound up in my kiddie pool. Seems the place is being used as a training ground for the Chosen. If you've seen them in action, you know how ruthless they are. You know what Jacob taught him to use for target practice? Live bodies. Gets their first kill jitters out of the way. These motherfuckers don't value any life that ain't in their cult. And they need to be put down like the dogs they are. So you're gonna head up to that chalet. 
You're gonna kill every Chosen you see, and you're gonna rig that building with explosives. And then, we're gonna watch that whole fucking place turn into a smoldering heap of ash. Sound good. Mister, don't point that thing- <laughs> Jesus! Man. What the hell?! A great way to spot we need to watch you just in time. Yeah. Okay. Old County's dry. Once more. I know, trust me. These motherfuckers don't value any life I that ain't in their cult. Flame, and they need to be put down like the dogs they are. So you're gonna head up to that chalet. You're gonna kill every chosen you see, and you're gonna rig that building with explosives. And then we're gonna watch that whole fucking place turn into a smoldering heap of ash. Sound good to you? <sighs> watch where you point that thing! <gasps> Never can have enough energy. Oh. 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 Someone! I need help! You got your bow hunting license, Jess? <laughs> Ow! What the? Ow! Dutch out. Aha! Jesus! We're headed for <laughs> misunderstand. Ah! No. God, that hurts! You got your bow hunting oh. license, yeah. Jess? You got your flamethrowing license, Sharky? Death. Whoa. Is that loaded? <laughs> oh, mama! Oh. Hey, you got a sec? Is not still the president, the orange Russian. Do this shit. I thought I was done for. Thanks. Help! There's a lot more of them out there, Depp. If you come across any others, you rescue them, too. Don't let those goddamn Peggy's take any more good folk. Oh, my God. 
Doggy. We're gonna crush our punk Robin Hood too, Jess. Seriously. Take it because of the bow and all. Just saying. We're a tail in years for me. Eyes open. There's choppers in the area. Place is a goddamn fortress. Culture and technology has because it's brought us to our Ancestors could see us now, they would be ashamed. They would be sick, and they would be angry. We have forgotten where we came right here. from. We have forgotten. Watch me, I'm we moving! Are. No longer. We will become killers. We will become tenacious. We will become strong. We must look to our past with life with hard. Looks like he got him. Set the charges and finish this with fireworks. Weedy put a little extra kick in them, so enjoy the show. <laughs>
get out of there. We have forgotten who we are. No longer. Five, four, three, two, one. We will become. This is for Mark. Ain't that a pretty sight? Good fucking riddance. You gotta understand something, Deb. No one comes back from Jacob's chair the same. I've seen it. First hand. You go in one way, and you come out another. Eli thinks you're clear, but only time will tell. Anyhow, plenty more to do back at the Wolf's Den. Stop by if you're around, and thanks, Deb, for all you've been doing. I want you to know that you kick a lot of ass and I respect you. What the fuck do you mean? Deputy, I... I'm gonna tell you, some of the whitetails, well, some of them weren't so sure about bringing you on board. They're sure now. Not because of anything I said, but because of what you've done. Actions speak louder than words. People are coming from all over to join the whitetails. You're giving them hope again. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, a long time. Hey, I'm right over there!
Now look here. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you waiting for? Get moving. Get that flesh! What a fucking break over! God! Okie dokie.
mess Rowdy. Really? A combat veteran like you can't concentrate over my enthusiasm. <laughs> them before they pop me so eyes on to Still in the ring. Eli's got some doctor type trying to figure out what Jacob's done to those wolves. That been worse. I don't know if she's got anything yet, but we should check in, see what she's got. Ashes to ashes. Nothing like a joyride. No doubt. I got your six. If we hit a piggy roadblock, be careful. All righty, then. Hell yeah, crank the tunes. Not that peggy shit, though. Hey, Grace, uh, I'm wondering, you know, uh, just when it comes to gentlemen. You better be ready to finish what we started here.
We need to finish this ASAP and get going. show.
you must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. Did you know it takes ten days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just ten days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne All-Americans. Hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food. No radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance, came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough.
Starts again. Follow me. He knows you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. You can't ever go back. Do you understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. Truck. That truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on the truck. It's almost done. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. Wade over at the Fang Center. 